I grew up back in a little town of Harvard, Nebraska. And we lived close to a city dump and not too far from town either. And we got all our furniture out of the dump. We got uh, all our linoleum out of the dump that went on the floor. We got uh, electric motors out of there. We, we got a lot of scrap iron and zinc and aluminum and we saved it all up. We even saved rags and uh, this old black gentleman come to the house and he'd buy them for a penny a pound. And I kind of save all that stuff today and that's what I build things out of. Dad would load us up in his truck. We never had a new bicycle, but we would go to the dump and we would pick up all the old bicycle parts, everything that we could find, tires and wheels and frames, and we'd bring them home. I remember having a huge pile in the backyard of all these bicycle parts. And my dad would say, there's your new bike. We learned real young to, to salvage everything that was worth money. I basically learned my trade from that city dump. The first thing I put a motor on was a, a bicycle. I was 11 years old. I put a 5 8 horse Briggs and Stratton off a wash machine. I put dual exhaust on it and everything. I put motors on wagons and motors on tricycle. Even uh, I was too big to ride the tricycle, but I put my feet over the handlebars and sit on the seat. The motor would sit on the back deck. <laughs> Ernie's the alpha male. He, he's willing to listen to other ideas but he's, he sees something in his mind and uh, he's gonna do it his way. I'm probably his biggest fan because to watch him take a flat piece of steel and twist it into a doorknob or uh, a headlight bucket or spoke wheel, you know, um, I would never have the concept of somebody building those components uh, all from flat steel. When Ernie's building a car and uh, for instance, uh, a body line that would go down the center of a car uh, is an indentation in the uh, flat steel when he builds the body panel. And so I'd watch him put the, the round stock onto the lathe and he would cut his own dies to put on the homemade bead roller to make the homemade body panel for his car. So he would build the tool, he would build uh, the body, and he would build, assemble the whole car. From A to Z was all handmade. One day my dad and I was sitting at the table, at the round table, and we're discussing uh, the fact he's getting older and uh, he's uh, accumulating more cars. He's up to seven cars that we have in here that are all uh, his dwarf cars that he's built. and. Uh, we started discussing where they were going to go when he was gone or if something happened to him. And he said, uh, you guys just sell all the cars. And myself, I said, uh, you know, that we couldn't, I couldn't sell the cars. I thought that they should be kept all together. We built the structure not knowing what we were going to do inside, except for it was going to house the cars. And uh, as it started coming along, we got the drywall in and, and we got a few ideas and uh, then we decided uh, we should put a little gift shop in the corner and uh, we sell t-shirts and postcards and uh, I sell the DVDs that I make of the movies and each time if somebody wants to watch the movie, they sit down and Ernie sits down and watches almost the whole movie with them every time. He, he watches it uh, two or three, four times a day, the movies, and he never gets tired of them.